Welcome everyone. In this video, we'll go over using the Simplify Spending Plan. To access the spending plan, you can click on the spending plan tile from the dashboard, or you can select spending plan from the left-hand bar. As you can see, the spending plan is on a per month basis, and it is built using your recurring bill, income, and subscription transactions that you have set up in Simplify, as well as any plan spending that you have for the month. And it also keeps track of any additional spending that occurs throughout the month. And we'll go over each of these sections individually momentarily. However, I did wanna point out that you can use these arrows at the top here to move to prior month's spending plans, as well as to move to future month's spending plans. And you can budget for a full year into the future. Each month, the spending plan will be broken down into four different sections. The first section is based on your recurring income, bills, and subscriptions that you've set up in Simplify, as well as your savings goals. You can expand each of these sections to see what's included. As you can see, I've received some income throughout the month, and I also have a income reminder that is expected to be received today. Here's my bills that I have for the month. Everything is showing as paid. However, if anything is upcoming, you will see an upcoming tag. And if anything is past due, you will see a past tag here. You can also view your savings goals. I've contributed to my savings goal this month, so it's been deducted from my spending plan because that's how I set up the savings goal is to be included. If I had not contributed yet, you'd see a not contributed tag here. And if I had any savings goals that were being ignored from the spending plan, I would see those here as well. However, they would be grayed out. You can easily manage any of the transactions or reminders that you see here. Since these ones have been marked as paid and the reminder was linked to a transaction, I would be managing the transaction, which I can do by selecting the three dots. And I can edit the transaction, delete the transaction, I can ignore it, and I can also view the associated recurring series. Since this one is still a reminder and has not been linked to a transaction yet, I would be managing the reminder. I can edit it, I can delete it, I can ignore it, and I can also link it to a transaction directly from this three dot menu. You can also easily add new goals or recurring transactions here by clicking these add goal, add subscription, add bill, etc. You can see the totals for each of these sections so you know how Simplify is calculating the amounts. And if you didn't want to use the calculated amount, you can actually set a custom amount by clicking this three dot menu and then selecting set custom. If you want to go back to using the calculated amount, you would see the option to use calculated in this menu instead. And you may also see an including ignore total here. And what this means is that I have some items being ignored from the spending plan. So I have recurring credit card payments set up. And since these are just transfers, I do have them ignored from the spending plan. So this is my bills total. However, this is my bills total if I were to include the ignored items. The next area of the spending plan is plan spending. And this is where you can budget for items that fluctuate each month, such as groceries, gas, and you can also budget for other one-time expenses such as birthdays or holidays. To create a plan spending expense, you would just click this add expense tile. You can select whether it's a one-time expense or a monthly expense. Fill out this information and click create when done. Once you've created a plan spending expense, you can click on the tile to view a drill down of your spending. So as you can see, this shows me what I've spent, what I have left. I can also see the last six months of spending for this item. And you can also view the transactions that are being included towards this expense as well as easily edit any of the transactions that are displayed here. You can easily edit or delete any of these expenses as well by clicking this three dot menu. And you do have the option of editing or deleting just this month's expense 
or you can edit or delete the entire plan spending series. Once you think you've spent all you're going to spend for a month in a certain area, you can click the three dots and then click release available for spending. And what that does is it adds those leftover funds to my available to spend funds. The next area of the spending plan is other spending. And this is where Simplify will keep track of any additional spending that occurs during the month outside of your recurring items and your savings goals and any plan spending. You can move these bubbles around. You can also click on them to get a drill down of the transactions that are being included. And again, you can also easily edit any of these transactions that are displayed here. The last area of the spending plan is the available. And what this does is it takes your remaining income after your recurring bill subscriptions and your savings goals and then it deducts your plan spending, your other spending, and then it gives you an available amount for the month broken down into a per day total. And you can also hover over any of these sections in the graph here to see the totals for each of those areas of the spending plan. The last thing I wanted to go over in this video is projecting for future months. So as you can see, when I move forward one month in the spending plan, I'll see my recurring items here. I'll also see my planned spending expenses that I'm anticipating for the month. And the projected other spending, you have a few options here. So you can choose to not project. You can also use a custom amount. Or you can use your average spending based on the last X amount of months here from one through 12. And you can also allow a buffer just to cover any additional costs that might occur through the month. And that's all I have for the spending plan. But as always, if anyone has any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Otherwise, I hope everyone has a great day. Happy budgeting.